here we are in Tampa. Wait, where are your plants? They're back home, and all my favorite ones are in here, of course. Having these Mars Hydro Grow tents has been such a game changer by allowing me to travel with as many plants that I have, knowing that they're just fine in an automated, perfect environment while I'm away makes coming home a little sweeter since I know I'm gonna be coming home to new growth. Let's go to TPIE. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Patrick and I love plants. In today's video, we are in Tampa. We just got here. We arrived at 8 a.m. We took the red eye from LAX and surprisingly, the ride was not bad. The flight, <laughs> the flight was not bad. We had the whole row to ourselves. So Joe had one window and I had the other and we got to kind of stretch out. It was really nice. That never happens too. I'm excited to be here in Tampa. We are here for TPIE, uh, the Tropical Plant International Expo. I'm super excited to see some of my friends. I'm excited to see what it's all about. So today's the first day and we have, it's a three day event we have tomorrow. So uh, today I'm just gonna see what it's all about, take the lay of the land. And I'm thinking of doing daily vlogs while I'm here in Tampa. So that's gonna be fun. I only got two, maybe three hours of sleep last night on the plane. So we do need some coffee and I'm hungry. We're hungry. And our first place that we're going to is Colombia and I'm super excited to try it. I'm also hoping they have some really good Cuban coffee or any coffee <laughs> for that matter. This is really cool. Colombia is in a historic part of Tampa called Ybor City and it's huge so I'm walking along the perimeter of it and it is super huge. So it's one of the oldest restaurants. Wait, it's the oldest and it's also very, very big. <laughs> More about this neighborhood, Ybor City is a historic town with a deep history in cigar making. So tons of cigar makers were here and there's a real rich history in hand rolled cigars with lots of immigrants from Spain, Cuba, and Italy. It's really fascinating, especially seeing the architecture. Just down the street from Colombia was a cute little cute was an interesting little shop called Dysfunctional Grace. This one looks especially inviting. I want to just pet him or her. What an interesting store. <laughs> That's all I can say. It had a really, a really interesting collection. It even had real human remains, which I couldn't and shouldn't videotape out of respect for the dearly departed so um, that was very interesting and after working up an appetite at that very interesting store our table was ready how is it and since I was feeling a little more festive than Joe, I opted for the mojito. Of course I got the mojito. You know, a little delirious from the flight, so I might as well just go with it. This should be a very fun TPIE. <laughs> You know it's legit when it has the sugar cane. Mm. It's 
so we got the 1905 salad and the lovely lady that prepared this for us table side was saying that this is the original recipe from 1905 so I'm excited to try it I'm so glad our server didn't let us order the Caesar salad fun story but wait for that later now let's talk about the Cuban sandwich from Tampa the Cubano from Tampa holds a lot of history as each component of the sandwich represents all the different immigrants working together in the cigar making factories. The lechon or marinated pork and bread from the Cubans. Then the addition of salami represents the Italians and the pickles and mustards from the Germans all coming together to make one really delicious sandwich. Oh my gosh, that was so delicious. And the staff there is amazing. Everyone was so nice. Our server was actually really funny. At first we wanted to order the Caesar salad because it's what we know. And she's like, no, you cannot have the Caesar salad. <clears throat> she's like, no, you cannot have the Caesar salad. And I, I thought she was joking and I didn't know what to do. So I was like, <laughs> but she's like, no. You have to get the 1905 salad, and I'm so glad we did. It was so delicious. Oh, and the Cuban sandwich was really good too. I really enjoyed the salami with the mustard, and I don't know. I did taste the difference between Miami's Cuban sandwich and Tampa's, so. And I think I liked it. Let's go to TPIE. Feels so official. <laughs> Here we go. Now walking into these big events always gives me a little bit of anxiety, but luckily I was just a little too tired to care. <laughs> Let's go inside. There's Costa Farms. First impressions walking in, it is so huge, but it's really exciting. There's so many different nurseries and just really cool products that it's kind of overwhelming, but I guess we'll start somewhere and just make our way around, right? <laughs> There's only one way. There's only one way to do it. Look who we found! <laughs> oh, <laughs> my voice. I was like, look who we found! <laughs> I'm so excited that the first people that I run into were Paula and Melody from Perfect Choice Nurseries, or in this case, Arid Greenhouses. This is amazing, and these are all real plants. No plastic here. Aeroid Greenhouse's booth is so pretty. This wall that they prepared is just out of this world. It's so beautiful. There's a UPI right there. Oh, look at these beautiful variegated fried eggs. Oh, that leaf. Oh, and this strawberry shake. Ooh, there's the uh, Diffenbachia Big Ben Variegata. That's so pretty. I've actually never heard of that plant until I saw their nursery, when I visited their nursery and I saw all of their beautiful variegated Diffenbachias. I was blown away. It's nice to see that they brought them here. Ooh, look at that beautiful UPI. And... Is that an Ataba Poensi? Nice. They brought the best of the best of their aeroids too. Oh, look at this alocasia. That is so pretty. It's got this like silvery platinum sheen. You gotta be here. Ooh, and that 
Alocasia Mellow. That's on my list. Aeroid Greenhouses brought their best of the best and I was so proud to see my friends pull off such an amazing feat with their booth. It was so beautiful. It's hard at work. Whoa, what's this? It's so cool. I'm loving all of the uh, different ferns and mosses. So we're just walking around and enjoying the expo, but we're supposed to meet back at three because Aeroid Greenhouses won an award, so we want to go back and see that. These are cool. I'm loving the colors. Awesome. Look at all the bromeliads. Grant's Farm Nursery with the beautiful succulents and bromeliads on display. Okay, so it's a little overwhelming, but here's a little game plan so you're not like, what's going on? What are we watching? I am doing, since it's the first day, I'm doing like a, a walkthrough. When I come back tomorrow, I'll do a separate video on all the cool, like, different booths and products that I really loved here from TPIE. So today, since it's the first day, I'm just gonna vlog the experience and do it that way. But when I come back tomorrow to film, I'm gonna be here for the whole day. And what I'm gonna do is a little more of a structured video featuring some of my favorite products companies and booths that I saw here so that's the game plan O M G Daru's plants with the beautiful huge nepenthes look at that we're just on the outside of it let's check out the inside look at how big those nepenthes pictures are Insane. How cute. Loving all the little mini Phalaenopsis. Super mini. Really cute. They had some really cute orchids. Okay, they told me to come check it out. And they kind of gave me a description of it, but this is something else. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, there's more. So I guess what they did is they added the Kokodama to the driftwood and planted some really amazing aeroids in them. Like that variegated BATA. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, these begonias. Let's look at it from the other side. That is one fine specimen. <laughs> and here's this one, the Begonia Cracklin Rosy. That's so huge. It's impressive. I'm so glad that I was able to be there to see my friends win an award. You are looking at a TPIE 2023 award winner. Look at her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look who I found. This is Joyce of Emma's Garden. <laughs> Emma's garden. <laughs> Look at those nails. After that fun award ceremony, Joyce and I walked around the expo and she was showing me wow. some of the coolest things that she saw. We've all heard of Suntory whiskey from Japan, but have you heard of Suntory flowers? 
I do believe that they are affiliated. We try. We try to have nice ones. This is so cute. <laughs> so beautiful. They won an award for for all my sense of Varia lovers. This is super cool. Ooh, an Anthurian booth. I love this moment. No more popcorn. The sound of Echeveria, Stalcone, Bambo. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all the ferns. Look at this one though. Elephantatus, that is beautiful. I love the way that these Clarinerviums are displayed in baskets. One thing I am noticing is the trend of different growing methods, like the anthuriums and the baskets. It's not that different, but just like not in your usual old pots. That's one trend that I'm... Oh. <laughs> look at that. Wow, look at the Hoyas. The Vanda is gorgeous right there. This is a very cool, they won an award actually. R&D Nurseries. Wow, stunning. Ooh, Cryptanthus. Like, this one's really cool. I mean, I think it looks cool on camera, but it looks even cooler in person. Monstera Aurea. That is one gorgeous cordyline. What is that? I am loving these pots. I mean, the things that they do with some of the spaces are just incredible. OMG, look at this Brantiana. It is so full. And then this Curtisii is also very full. That's really pretty. We're walking around with Joyce and we were just talking about how it's really cool to see all the different vendors, growers. We also noticed that it's a lot more common plants than rare, but it's actually really nice and refreshing to see a beautiful common house plants. It's super exciting to like just be in the hustle and bustle. There's tons going on, a lot of orders being made, and I came to the conclusion the best way for me to kind of explain it as a first time comer to TPIE is that I was like, so it's kind of like fashion week but for plants because you're seeing all the newest plants the newest products and everyone's kind of buying for their own businesses so it's really cool to see oh my gosh look at these Those inflorescences are just so girthy. I do love the mini fowls. Oh yeah, I love like the, the small thing. Like so many, yeah. Just checking in, it's almost happy hour time. But I just realized the one thing is that I'm a little too shy, so I need to quit that and just ask. ask so look at how sad my freebie bag is I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> but i just asked my first booth shout out to plant hall but all the other booths should watch out because i'm all right now i can ask <laughs> oh wow this is cool so this is not a golden pothos no. it's a epipremnum panatum but um, Aurea. Yeah, golden. <laughs> golden. 
and this Cebu Blue. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? That's so cool. And just like that, it is five o'clock happy hour. Everyone was excited for happy hour and it was a really great time to kind of meet everyone, get to know people and let loose. Okay, so TPIE, first impressions, a lot of fun. The energy is a lot different from the International Aeroid Society's show and sale, I must say, because that's the only other one that I've been to. But it's surprisingly really fun. I was expecting it to be very, like, professional work vibes, which it was. But then when the time came to let loose, Everyone seemed to just let loose, which is really cool. And look, we got a VGI pop socket. My, look at how beautiful it is here. Look at that. Oh, I'm so sad that we had to leave the party, but we have to eat dinner, and I'm so excited for this because we are at the Rooster in the Till. I just heard it was one of the places that I have to try here when visiting Tampa. So here we are trying it. Wait, wait, wait. Of course, I had to get an espresso martini. I'm just trying my best to stay awake and keep going. It was very delicious. <laughs> And then we got the scallop crudo. You know, the seafood in Florida is so delicious and this was no exception. This was just so delicious and I could not get enough. I wish I remembered all of the different parts to this dish, but I could just taste it while I'm editing this for you. And then for the main course, we had to split the New York strip steak it just looks so good and the looks did not deceive us because it was so delicious. And after the first day, how do you feel? I feel like greasy and wrinkly. That was TPIA day one. Dinner was so delicious. Oh my gosh. That was so good. But I'm really full and how I'm going still, I don't know. Well, here you go. There's your answer. But we're on our way to go meet up with Paula and Melody and Joyce to go for some more drinks. But before I get too sloshed, I'm gonna end it here. Make sure you tune in for my next video where I'll be going over all of my favorite booths and products from TPIE. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video, I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye! Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah. That baby, I got you. No matter the distance, no matter the hoops. Yeah. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. No matter the hoops, yeah Baby, I got you